Om Shanti, welcome to 22nd of October Swarli Blessing. How do we see positive even in the negative? And how do we accept our past? Something bad has happened, something bad was done to us. And how do we accept our past? And then how do we make our present peaceful? So today we are going to talk about all these things and this is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris on a daily basis. That how do we become stable by understanding the past, the present and the future. These are all known as Trikal Darshi or the three aspects of time. So God here says, may you be a Trikal Darshi and unshakable and immovable Mahavir. That means nothing deters us. We are focused on our path. Even if somebody is trying to become a hurdle, we thank them because we are becoming stronger now so that we can see the positive even in the negative which they have tried to do. How about that? How would your life be then? Knowing that there is benefit in everything. God says, do not look at any situation with the vision of just one time aspect of time. That means present. In present, that person did this thing to me. I am going to take revenge. I am going to show him his place. I am going to put him down. I am going to demean him in front of everybody. How about that? Yes, that kind of feeling can come when we are only looking from the present. But God says you look at from the three aspects of time. In the past, could be one minute back, could be one year back, one month back, one lifetime back could be 10 lifetimes back in your previous life you could have done something to that person and that person is exchanging that negative energy with you right now that's why we say what did i do to that person i've never met that person in my lifetime yes you've not met that person who's looking like that in your lifetime but you've met the soul who's in that body in your previous lifetimes and you have done something to that person so thank that person that okay fine my past is all cleared they have taken the revenge they have given me back the negative energy. Thank you. My past is taken care of. What do I do in the present? So here God says, see everything as a Trikal Dashi. Instead of asking why or what. Why did that happen? What did I do? Always have the thought, there is benefit in whatever is happening. It's an attitude. Continue to do everything that Baba tells you to do. Baba doesn't tell you or God doesn't tell you to take revenge. He doesn't tell you to demean that person. He doesn't tell you to... Put that person down. He doesn't tell you to, uh, you know, uh, plot against that person. No, nothing of that sort. Then Baba knows and his work knows. So when we have not done anything bad to them in the present, we have accepted the past. In the present, we are okay. We are giving them good wishes. May you succeed. May you be happy. May you be content. Even if you are angry with us. Even if you are disappointed with us. Even if you are irritated with us or frustrated with us. Even if you want to take revenge. It's okay. I'll protect myself for sure, obviously, if it's a physical offense which I'm expecting, but I will not take revenge. I will not create another karmic cycle. I will not create another karmic loop in which I'm going to be sucked into it and which will not allow me to focus on my future progress. So then God says, continue to make, continue to move along as Baba makes you move and that will be filled with benefit so coming out of the loop is very important and that's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris God gives us all the guidance of how to come out of the loop never let this faith fluctuate let there not be any waste thoughts or dreams in your mind that means you know you could be taking revenge in your thoughts dreaming about how can I curse that person how can I move uh, that person's or how can I shake that person's life no we don't have any dreams we don't have any thoughts in our mind and you will then be called an unshakable and immovable Mahavir because you're focused in your path, you're moving in your direction, you're not getting into the loop of negative thought, negative energy and not getting diverted towards taking revenge, diverted towards putting that person down. Your energies are focused towards your goal. And doesn't anyone want that energy to be focused? Everybody wants it, right? And that's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris, how to channel our energies in the right direction. Om Shanti with this.